performance speed shop. Quick little tidbit. Um, I had a question. I'm going to let you guys decide. In the video I'm about to post, I just say that I'm building the dart. What do you guys want to see? Because ultimately, that's what I'm going to do. Do you guys want to see the dart put together for me, a daily driver? Or I'll walk out back and I'll show you the truck. Which one do you guys want? Because I'm going to do what you guys want to see. We can either... We can do the dart or or this this is my 1983 dodge d150 two-wheel drive short bed truck now some of you may already know this but the dart has a 360 Magnum V8 out of a late 90s Dodge truck. It has a 727 torque flight. Um, comp cams, I'll give you guys part number later. It's all there, complete. It's, it's a good car. I have everything to do it. I recently went and picked up you know, a 383 out of a 67 Newport, a 727 Torque Flight again, because I like those transmissions I hear They're beefier than the 904s, and they're more a dime a dozen. So, this truck, which my goal with this truck is to make a roadkill style muscle truck. Something that's, uh, what's, what's it called, Mopar muscle truck, like Stolsage's truck. Um, except his is a 70s, I do believe. Yeah, his is a 70s. I personally prefer the 70s, but I'm gonna leave this truck kind of like this, minus the cab, because this cab is shot, and I don't feel like doing the work to fix it. So I'll show you guys the engine. Transmission's up there. The 383 that we bought was a boat anchor. It, it was, it's junk. But it had good forged internals to put in the 400. Forged crank, forged rods, which should beef this engine up. Sorry about the mess. Uh, never mind that. That's, that's old news right now. I gotta get it out. I haven't decided. I think I'm gonna put a Hemi in this in the future just because I wanna put a Hemi in the Dakota. Because why not? But in this crate is something you probably have already seen it is this this is a good mopar big block 400 um it's a 75 out of a cop car i do believe that's what i was told at least and i verified because it's a four barrel it's out of a cop car i do believe not 100 sure uh it's a good engine rolls over all that stuff i originally got it for this plans changed i don't really want to do this right now I'll show you guys why, but this and a 727, this will I'll pull the internals out of this. I do believe it's still got a good crank in it and rods, so I'll put them, I'll you know, foil them and put them up, and I'll keep them for another project someday. So <clears throat> that was forged internals behind a 727. I'm very, very low cost build on that one. Um, and by low cost, I'm not using new old bearings, all that. No. Um, I mean, like, I'm not going to retrofit a hydraulic roller in it. I'm not going to buy any expensive parts, really. Flat tap it. Maybe, maybe 300 horse, 350 horse is what I'm aiming for. Um, which, honestly, in that truck, that should be plenty for now. 350 horse that's that's that should be plenty but yeah um what else could i tell you guys about this truck it doesn't have a posi i do have an eight and three quarter for this oh i showed you guys this this cab is flucked see right there it's gone it's gone right there and then Right there. 
<clears throat> but it's overall a good truck. I mean, the base, the foundation, which is what I cared about, the frame, is good. Sorry, I got a lot of diesel truck coming through. One of the things about living in the country, I guess, you got guys with diesel trucks. I'm not a big diesel guy, but I'm not a huge fan of diesels. I got a good friend of mine that's got a Dodge diesel truck. The, like, like I think it's 0506. And he's had nothing but transmission problems out of that truck. I don't know what it is about that truck. He's had more transmission failures than I've had anything I've ever owned. But I'll show you guys the transmission real quick. Either way, whatever you guys pick, I'm still going to get on that 400 here soon because I want to get it put together. Transmission. 727 torque flight. Uh, not special that I know of. It's all there. It's good transmission. So there's that. And then over here is the 383 that we pulled apart. Here's the boat anchor. As you guys can see, it's 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 fucked. I mean, for instance, how fucked you, mass? Fucked. Dark or the skylark. All right, you guys, and then this. I'll give you guys a little rundown on this quick little video. This is a 73 Dart Sport. I think I've said that before. Seven and a quarter rear, 360 Magnum, 727, 3500 stall, comp cams, uh, disc brakes, power disc brakes, manual steering. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, this was a V8 conversion I did because I didn't want to slant six. So this car actually was complete when I got here. It was it had the engine and transmission in it. I just recently sold the transmission. Uh, slant six, three speed. That's my converted to the floor. It used to be on the column. It ran and drove. I wanted a V8. So I bought a V8 K member. It was originally a drum brake car, manual drum brakes. It's got a disc on it. It'll have power disc brakes. V8. It should be a nice car. It's gonna have it. Uh, 8.8 .8 in the rear because that should be easy to do and cheap and I like I am cheap 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 All right, you guys. Oh, let me know what you guys want to see and I'll do what you guys want to see you guys want to see the dart or the d150